Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another review of episode two of Card Capture Sakura Clear Card. It's, no, it's Clear Card. It's just cards in the game or in the anime because there's multiple cards that they have to go through. Wait. All right, so we are going into that the first episode, of course, she, you know, got her first clear card. Woo! Uh, she then goes back to school and is like, y'all know what's going on here. Um, and Sen Senri? I can't remember. I don't know how to say his name the best. It's like, I don't have any idea what's going on. Have you tried to get in contact with the reincarnation of Cloud? Of course, she has no contact. Weird. Very weird. So we then, and then her friend is like, well, I wish, I'm so upset about this now. And the whole thing is that, well, guess what happened? Ha! Ah, I just wanted to make costume for you and I couldn't record it. Ah. Really sad and stuff. So uh, it then moves to her going through school and going through, you know, class. And it's like, hi, class. And it's really cute and adorable. Uh, which we then lead on to um, that she has lunch and eats with Senri and all of her friends and telling how much she loves this girl's desserts and all this stuff and one of the girls is basically like here I made a dessert thing I hope you very very much enjoy it it's a homemade dessert that I think you guys can make and then we have Guy who wraps around uh, fun packs and she shoves a um, onigiri in his mouth to make him stop. Um, so then she takes her friend, uh, back home with her, and guess who, and she makes the dessert, which I don't know if it's like a step-by-step -step thing of the recipe, nonetheless. It kind, it kind of goes, and it's cheesecake. Who knew? Which isn't really a cake, but it is really delicious, and the way they they make it or something like that seems like it'd be almost a bit fluffier than like traditional New York cheesecake which a lot of people associate cheesecake with uh, but they make it and it's very delicious and uh, Koro it, it eats it and it's like this is the most amazing thing ever I'm going to be continuously happy yay well then her brother and Yui comes in and he has to act like a stuffed animal and it's very, very hard for him. But, uh, okay. I don't know why. It's just staying still. If you can't stay still for a while. Mm. Um, but she, she wants to thank Yui for the gifts and to be really appreciative. And because he's staying over, her brother's like, why, why are you being so appreciative of him? Huh? 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 It's like, I can't thank somebody, and I was going to give you some of this cake. And so he takes a bite out of it, and he's like, mm, not bad. Dude, you're not a five-star chef. Calm down. Uh, but it is really nice to see uh, Yui, or Yue. I know that's not his name. I think it's Yukito. It's easier just to go by the form that he takes that Sakura knows him best for. Um, so we then move up to, you know, uh, the whole yakitori thing. Koro's like, yakitori. I want yakitori. And so Sakura is trying to fan him to make him stop, and it's that's a really cute scene. Um, but he makes it for them, which you don't see the dad, which I'm guessing he's going to work. It doesn't really explain where he is or he works but he's not there so uh sakura and i think it's tomato god am i not great with the names they both go to a bedroom for her to then dress up um and show her costume that she's gonna you know like one of the 50 iterations that i made but, you know we're gonna do this costume it's gonna be awesome um and so, and you, like in the beginning, you see corals that it's just, it's a crown, and I'm like, it's okay, 
I thought it would be more like a little suit or something like that, but okay. Um, and they talk about more of the clear cards and stuff like that, which then leads into um, them talking about are they see something and it Sakura's like, did you see this? And she's like, no, what is it? And then they get encapsulated in this room and they're trying to get out. So, you know, Sakura's moving around, walking around, uh, touches and feels it. And it's kind of like she doesn't understand it and doesn't get it. Uh, neither does Tomato. She doesn't get it either. And she's, of course, recording. Yay, I get it this time. Um, but the whole room is encapsulated in white with swirl design. It, it's very interesting. And then they kind of, like, span out. And it's a, in a darkness. It's, it's interesting, but why... Why did it happen like that? And why was it encasing in a room... And why is it when you look outside of it, you don't kind of see a little bit, like, of her room? Um, but they slowly figure out that this card is, like, rubber, or a rubber card. Um, and so what happens with a balloon? You know, like, how do we get out of a balloon? You pop it, of course. Uh, but how do we have any of that? Good thing I was sewing up your outfit right now, because I still have my pins. Wee! <laughs> Recording. You ready? Um, so she pops it, and Sakura already has her magic staff, cane thing. I'm gonna go more with it's a staff. It looks really, it looks a bit bigger than her other one, or smaller. It's been a while since I watched it. Um, so they do that, and the balloon pops, and it's still kind of a square, but it's slowly kind of like. One side of it kind of shreds like a balloon, but doesn't fully go away. Um, and so, uh, she then captures it, and it's called Siege. And then her brother walks in and is like, what's that noise? And she goes, oh, we were playing with the balloon. I totally forgot, you know, and we popped it by accident. And he's like, well, just, you're making too much noise. Calm it down. Then looks at Koro and looks back and okay, and walks out, closing the door. Um, the, it brings up the question one, just one, one, one question. Um, how are these cards? These cards are affecting the reality of this world um, because Koro says he can't sense the card, and Sakura says she can't either. But uh, they. Like, she can physically touch the cards and stuff like that. Um, so how are they affecting our dimension as much as it is? Number two, what is with their names? Now, of course, this is only our second episode, so we only have actually two cards right now, which... Hey, Japan, if you're going to make more soccer cards or card capture cards, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy those clear cards. Um, but the first one is... Glade, it's not wind. And, like, a, for me, a definition of a glade or something like that is either a pasture or kind of a really soft wind. It's not very forceful. And when she captures the card, the creature or whatever is like a fish. Which, as we know, in the, the very first card that Sakura gets is Windy, or the Windy card, and it looks personified as a person. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but then we get the Glade, our Glade, and it's just Glade, and then we get Siege. So for me, what I thought the definition of Siege was is like Siege battling or uh, the Siege is starting. Uh, so I thought of it more as a war thing and not a physical thing. Like, I thought it would just be, like, um, the the rubber rubber square or, like, the, the rubbering. <laughs> but it's Siege. So what this seems like, at least within the first two cards, is that these cards are more made for battle 
than they are for the magical and mystical. Uh, so like, uh, you know, the watery, it was based off the water, and yes, it was dangerous, but could easily help people. Uh, like the bubbles, the flowery, um, I don't know, the fight one is the only one that's the exception to the like, but it is mystical, because it's the fight card. Um, but so far these two cards just, they seem more meant for war than they are, like I said, for the mystical and magical. Um, because Cloud Reed cards were never that dangerous. They, they are, were always meant to be something of an element. The, these ones seem totally different, which they are, they're clear cards. But they seem to be a bit more dangerous than the other cards. I mean, Siege, and it's, you're encasing somebody in a box full of rubber that cannot escape unless they have a sharp sword, which, if, let's just use the two cards that we have now, if they use Glade to knock off the blades away, and then put them in Siege, now you can just have people encapsulated that are fighting. And there's no way to break them out. Um... So they're, they're interesting, but very, very weird so far. And that's why I fully admit that these cards seem very, very different and very, very more dangerous. Um, because at least, you know, with the Glade one, it physically cut into stone and cut a tree down. Whereas Windy just made a lot of wind gusts. You don't even see in the Thundery... I think it's thundery. That's the lightning cat thing. Like, nothing burnt the top of the building that it was on. It didn't leave scars. Um, which they don't say in the second episode, like, there has been a bit of a disturbance and destroying in the area. Like, you don't hear anything like that. But it was very much destroyed. But the thing is, we didn't get to see her walk from school after that um so but these cards seem more bent on destruction so i don't know what it's leading to but i'm thinking these cards are going to be very different and more than likely when she gets the rest of the clear cards her cards will come back um because i have a feeling that um, somebody didn't want a peaceful resolution because we get hurt in another dream and it seems like it's tugging to this new person new person with this dangerous monster that they're on top of new person um so that's that's what I'm thinking is that it's just something really super dangerous um, and with that it, uh, I, I don't know, but I really enjoyed this episode, and I'm, I'm now trying to piece together with the cards and everything, like, what's going to happen next, uh, which I will have another review next week on Card Captor Sakura, the clear cards, or clear card. So, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below. What do you think the deal is with these cards? They're, they are very different and seem to be more trouble than they're worth. But, what are your thoughts? Like reading your comments. And definitely don't forget to subscribe. I do try my best to get videos out from Monday to Friday with either something new Something different or just something cool in between. And I hope that you've been having a very wonderful day. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, the links are down below. Wolfie Chong out. Bye.